乱世心，浮沉中生死无际，命运百般如戏。梦境里，谁人影？斜阳落空，收回忆，相思何处忘记？Lady Xiao's father, Xiao Meng, is a very vengeful man. He will not let Lady Han off. You're doing all of this for Wen Chu. Yu Xuan is busy right now, dealing with the chaos. He won't make trouble for Wen Chu. Do you think that I'm so cruel to take advantage of Lady Xiao? You were doing it to protect Lady Zhao. No, I'm doing it for me. I hate intrigues in the harem. I can't believe that I could, that I could be someone who could be scheming and unscrupulous. You have to be this way under circumstances. Please don't blame yourself. Take care of yourself and cure your injury while you're staying here, so that you'll survive. Maybe I've been away from home for far too long. I miss my home. I miss my family. I want to end this nightmare and treacherous life. My lord, Lord Zhao, the lady is here. Lady, <laughs> husband, <laughs> husband. Zhao, why are you here, Yinglo? What is going on? Lord Zhao, my lady came from Zending without any rest. She wanted to get here really fast. Lord Zhao, this is all my fault. I'm willing to be punished. Tell me right now, what happened? You see, we're in danger in Chengdu, and so I went ahead and asked Lady Guo to help them. But then- Silence! Please don't blame Bo Shen. If he didn't tell me what happened in the frontier, I would never know my uncle broke his promises and cheated you. I feel guilty for what happened to you. Whether my uncle helps, I will stay with you and the soldiers. Husband, don't leave me behind. Let me try to- Make up for what my uncle did to all of you. Please stand up, <sighs> Shantong. Things are complicated when you fight a battle. He might have a reason for not supporting us. Yinglo, take her to have some rest. <gasps> Husband, please don't leave me behind. Don't worry. Yinglo, hurry and take your lady to her room. Yes. How dare he disobey my order? 
What's his excuse this time? Your Majesty, he said Hobei was unstable. I urge you to be wary of him. Your Majesty, why not send someone to Yuju and other strongholds to take over military and political power? Good. Send Miao Zong to Hebei as a supervisory censor, Wei Shun as the chief of Shanggu, and Tsai Chong as the chief of Yuyang. Listen. Do it since Wang Lang was killed. Send Shigong and Ma Wu to Handan with some troops. And keep a close eye on Liu Your Majesty. Wang Lang is dead. Hebei is still a mess. And Shimei, Tongma, and Qingdu, and others are running amok. Our priority is to snuff out the bandits and stabilize the region. I do agree with what Gong Sun proposes, but now we have a great loss in the army. Add to that, the troops in Shanggu and Yuyang now need some rest and retrooping. If we want to destroy millions of the bandits, we have to recruit a much larger number of military forces, especially the cavalry. Lord Zhao. There are tens of thousands of elite soldiers in Yoju, so I'd like to go there to recruit for you. I'll recruit the cavalry in Yojo with Gong Yan. Lord Shao, if we get military forces in Yojo, we will succeed. Wenshu, it's better to go forward, courageously especially, concerning Lady Yin. I appoint Wu Han as your head. Go with Geng Yan right now, to recruit in Yuju. Take the Envoy Scepter. Generals, remember, if you run into Miao Zheng and his men, on your way, do not hesitate. We understand. Your Majesty, Liu Shou has refused to come back. Wuhan and Geng Yan are loyal to Liu Shou and Liu Shou only. They have already killed three governors in Hebei. What's more, Liu Shou has the most powerful cavalry troop in all of Yuzhou at the moment. Therefore, he's a huge threat. <laughs> Dare he kill my subordinates? Is he plotting a rebellion against me? This has gone too far! Jue, send someone else to Yujo! Your Majesty, please know that no one is willing to go there anymore! You mean to say all my officials are afraid of Yoshu? Anyone who wants to go to Yujo now will be greatly rewarded! Sorry for letting you down, Your Majesty! What a sorry bunch of losers! All you can do is to pillage! From helpless commoners, you're all useless to me now! I'm so disappointed in all of you! <sighs> Didn't you tell me Yoshu would not rebel? How can you explain this? Lord Xiao is your majesty's underling. I've been to Hebei. Separatists are everywhere causing trouble. He guards Hebei. For you, your majesty, he's loyal to you. I thought Yoshu would be more scrupulous if I kept you in my palace. He's concerned about you. With his new wife, he no longer cares about me. Don't give up on no show. He cares, but he needs to. Look at the bigger picture. I try, but...
but it's so hard. Liu Shuho's military power ignoring His Majesty. His Majesty has no faith in the Lulin army now. He doesn't take her advice at all, and only trusts Zhao Meng right now. If this goes on, it won't be long before the Zhao family takes control of the royal court. What should we do? The priority is to make Liu show the crown prince, and then take over the throne. Oh no. Giving mercy to your foes is cruelty to yourself. Lady Zhao's father, Zhao Meng, has already been cultivating his own forces. You must take the initiative to win. But Lady Yin is always trying to protect Lady Zhao. We barely have a chance. We have to get rid of Lady Yin. We'll strike while His Majesty's distracted. That way, we can be sure we'll succeed. Lady Shao, sit down. Over here. Please, hang in there. Calm down. How is she? Your Majesty, Lady Zhao is safe, but then we must make sure she rests. I'll check on her. Lady Zhao. Your Majesty. My dear, I'm sorry I failed to take care of you. Your Majesty. I'm sorry. I'm sorry we lost the baby. I'm sorry. We're young. We'll have more babies. Don't worry about it, all right? My dear, I promise I will avenge you for this. And as soon as we find out the truth, the person behind this will pay for it. They'll pay with their lives. Right? All right, listen. You have to rest right now. I'll keep you company tonight. Get some rest. Your Majesty. Get some rest now. <sighs> Who do you think is behind this travesty? I really don't know, but only your majesty, Lady Han, and Lady Xiao know that I'm living here right now. I knew it. How dare she do this to me? It can't be her, no matter how much she hates me. Lady Xiao is carrying your baby. She isn't that reckless to do such a thing. 
She is capable of doing something like this. The last time I let her off with mercy. But not this time. Majesty, assuming those assassins were sent by Lady Han, but the Imperial Palace was well guarded, how could they get in? The people who support her must be very powerful. You must know that there are ministers who are against you. Lady Zhao and I are not their only targets. They're after you too. I'll look into this secretly. Thank you, Liwa. It's my honor. I have to go. Will you please take care of Lady Zhao for me? I will. Tell me, Liwa, why did this happen? And why is His Majesty not punishing Lady Han? If His Majesty asks her, she will just deny it. She is the mother of his three children. His Majesty won't castigate her. We have to wait for a chance. Your baby won't die in vain. Lady Han will pay for what she did. I will make certain of this. Go get some sleep. His Majesty ordered Zhao Meng's aide Zhao Shen to protect the palace instead of the Imperial grounds. He did this for you and Lady Zhao's protection. His Majesty has arrived! Look, son, this is Aunt Yin. Hi, Aunt Yin. Listen, I want you to look after him. Are you Little Fish? My name is Liu Li. I'm not a fish. But can I call you Little Fish from now on? All right. Why don't you ask me the reason I brought him to you? Your Majesty brought him to me. There must be a reason. I don't need to ask. <laughs> You're wise and reasonable. He will be better off with you. While he's here, Lady Han and Wang Kuang will hesitate to kill you for my little boy Li's sake. I will take good care of him. Please rest assured. <laughs> Father? Mother doesn't want me, is that true? Be good. For now, you will live here with Aunt Yin, yes? Father, I'll be good. I promise I will. I don't want to live here. I want to go back to my mother. Come on now, don't cry. Don't cry, all right? Come on. Okay. <laughs> there, 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 there. Thank you. Don't cry, don't cry. It's okay. Oh, don't cry. Don't cry. Please don't. I will take good care of you. Liar, don't cry, please. You're with me for now. I'm here. All right? Don't cry. His Majesty knows you're soft-hearted. Taking care of him is his way of keeping you here. His Majesty once said, we were pretty alike. We're pretending and using each other. My dear, come on, stop crying. You will live in my place. Be good and your father may take you to your mother soon, all right? Don't cry. <laughs> Please smile. Smile now. Auntie, look. Does this look like a bird? Were you the one who made this? Yes, I made it especially for you. Thank you. Wow, here's a kiss. <laughs> you both look like you are mother and son for real. Lee, play over there, all right? Okay. He is very gentle and honest. He's unlike his mother. He became so much better because he grew up with you. Having the boy around you 
has helped you not to be lonely. Lady Zhao, I know that you are still in great sorrow. Believe it or not, I do... I totally understand your feelings. I'm the only girl in my family. Although me and my brothers are close, we are all very different. I can't talk about anything with them, even if I wanted to. I was also close to my cousin. Her name's Dung Chun. We shared secrets. She was so sweet and gentle, just like you. <laughs> and then what? She was not as lucky as you. You married the man you love. Well, she married someone she never really loved. She made a compromise. And it was all for nothing. Her husband abandoned her when she was pregnant. That's so cruel. Didn't he even care about his own child? He was what you call a ruthless man. And Dong Chan? She died. Of dystocia in my arms. I cannot... forget how her body became cold on her way to Xinye. That... unborn baby... never got to see the world. You lost your baby, but at least you're alive. Why are there... Why are there so many... heartbreaking stories in the world? Her baby... and my baby... never got a chance. My lady, I was not able to protect my cousin back then. But now I'll do all I can to protect you. I look after you as if you're my own sister. Those people who hurt you are going to pay. <laughs> Auntie, for you, don't they look beautiful? <laughs> These flowers are so pretty. I want you to have these flowers. Thank you, Lee. <sighs> You're such a good boy. <gasps> Yin Li Hua, you are a vicious witch. How could you take away my son from me? <sighs> Mother. Is there anything wrong? My son. My son. For you and Li's sake, I will make Yin Li Wa pay for what she did to all of us by any means necessary. But I hear that Aunt Ian treats my brother very well. What do you know? This is why she is hypocritical and cunning to boot. Someone will deal with her, even if I'm unable to. Lady Han, thank you for the invitation. I'm so honored by it. <laughs> Lord Xi Ping is loyal to His Majesty. You are his wife. We should spend more time together. Hmm. And also, it feels lonely to stay here in the Imperial Palace. It's such a relief to have someone like you, to chat with. Lady Yin is here. You could have her as your company. Lady Yin? <laughs> Since she is your sister-in-law, I shouldn't gossip about her in front of you. Considering her misbehavior, I'd be ashamed if I was close to her. Oh? How come, Lady Han? Oh, you didn't know it? Hmm? 
she is seducing his majesty behind your brother's back. But there's no way. His majesty made your brother lord. She is the wife of Lord Shao. But she'd rather stay here and take my son Liu Li away. It's obvious she's not willing to leave. If she doesn't want him, why not leave? That's something to think about. <sighs> I guess she's jealous that your brother married Lady Kuo. She's doing all of this to get her revenge. What is wrong? Why are you upset? I heard some rumors. In the Imperial Palace. They're saying that Yin Li Wa is having an affair with His Majesty. That's why she didn't come back. When I asked her, I feel betrayed. Oji. Li Hua must have a reason for not wanting to leave. Don't believe the rumors. <laughs> uh, husband. Please do me a favor. Of course. I want to go to Changle Palace. I want to check it out. Parchi, thanks for visiting. You're my sister-in-law. Of course I should come. You are now more thoughtful since he got married. Is your husband treating you well? <laughs> yes, he is. He treats me very well. Good to know. Now, your brother will be relieved. Actually, I came here to persuade you to leave this place. I don't know why you refused to go. When I sent people to rescue you, I heard some rumors. If you can leave for Hebei to accompany, Brother Shu right now, you can prove to everyone that these rumors aren't true. That's really all you have to do, Liwa. Pochi, it's not that I don't want to leave. It's very complicated. Liu Xuan won't let me go. Sister. You don't want to be with my brother just because he married Guo Shangtong, am I right? If that's the reason, I can understand. A while ago, we heard from my brother. He praised Guo Shangtong as quite an exceptional wife. As gentle and virtuous she is. She's really so much better than you. Oh, sister-in-law, I'm sorry for telling you this, but please know that although my brother praised Guo Shangtong, he still cares a lot for you. You have been through so much. It has not been easy. Pachi, I understand. Enough. I will not contest Shantong. That's good. All right. You've let go of it. It is said that you and His Majesty are pretty close friends. He even calls the Imperial Doctor to treat you and asks you to take care of his son. Why don't you marry his Majesty. You... Sister! Lady, Lady Yin spat blood and fainted. She's unconscious and doctors are trying to save her. <laughs> if His Majesty kills Liu Po Ji, let's see how Yin Li Hua will explain this to Liu Shou. I don't think she can.
Tell me, what did you say to make her faint? Just what do you want from her? Answer me now or you'll regret it! Majesty, she's very gullible. She spoke without thinking and hurt Lady Yin, but she is my wife after all. Let me take your punishment. Leto! Do you know what your wife did to her? You're willing to take the fall? Li Hua was injured because of Liu Shu, and she has not even fully recovered yet. Then Po Chi made her faint. I have no choice but to execute her. Majesty, Po Chi is my wife. I beg for your mercy. I've shown enough mercy to their family. What was she thinking when she set out to offend Li Hua? No matter, because I cannot forgive her. Majesty, let me take the punishment for her. I will pay with my life. Majesty, punish me. Please let me be the one. Punish me in her stead. Lito, this isn't your fault. So don't push me. Please, allow me to do this. No, husband. Don't say that. I won't let you do this. I can't bear it if I was the, the cause of you getting killed. Please. Please, your highness, take my life instead. Husband! <laughs> Your Majesty, Li Hua woke up. She's asking to see you. Li Hua. You're awake. Feeling better? Oh. Majesty, what will you do to Leo Po Chi? That woman hurt you so much. I won't let her off easily. It's the death penalty for spreading rumors. Your Majesty, I'm begging you, please forgive her. But why? This is the last time. I will help the Leo family. From now on, I have nothing to do with Leo Shu. I'm doing this for deceased brother Pa Shang. It's not fair to you if we let her off so easily. I can't be the reason that she will die, but I don't want her near me. Just exile her and her husband from Chang'an so that I will never see her face again. Yes. I'll do that. Servant! Your Majesty? Pass my decree. Dispatch Rito to Qingzhou. Leave Chang'an right now! Your Majesty! His Majesty sent us away because of Lady Yin. They must be having an affair. Li Hua did this to us, to keep us out of Liu Shen's control. She's trying to save you because you're her family. How could you blame her? You are not being fair at all. Forget about why she saved me. You protected me from His Majesty. You were willing to die for me. It is a man's duty to always protect his wife. You don't have to make a fuss. I'm relieved you're safe. It's my fault that you will go to Jingzhou. Jingzhou is too far away. I'll send someone to escort you back to Taiyang. But why? Why won't you take me with you? Now that your brother is Lord Xiao in Hebei, His Majesty cannot touch him. 
And since you married me, you're not as happy as you were before. I don't want to force you. You may leave me if... if you want to. You want me to leave? It is my duty to care for you, and your family. I've married the woman I love above all. I don't need any concubine. Protecting his wife is every man's duty. Boji. What is this? I promised one shoe to keep you safe. Now that he is Lord Xiao, setting you free is the last thing that I can do. Please take this, and finally you will be free of me. What have you done? We're going to Jingzu together. Together? Yes. I am your wife. And I will go wherever you go. From this moment on, I will be your real wife. I am happy that I now have you in my life forever. Sister. Why are you here? Have you been given notice? Oh, no. We pretended to be doctors. No one will be suspicious. All right. But she went too far this time. She came here to hurt you, and you're barely better now. Did Li Tong and Pachi leave? They left yesterday. Great. Now none of Wenshu's family are trapped by Liu Xuan. Sister, you talk to Liu Xuan to help Liu Xiu. Lady Zhao and Pochi are free. That's more than enough. It's time to take care of yourself now. He's right, sister. It's not safe here. Why don't you leave with us right now? We can escort you back to Xinye. Or even Hebei. What are you talking about? Why would she go to Hebei? Because she's thinking of Liu Xiu. What else? And since her leg is almost fully recovered, she can go there. I heard Liao Xiao lives in Wenming Palace, in Hantan. She can recover there. Shantong's with him. Why go there? I broke off with Wen Shu before I left. I help him for the sake of Fang Yi, Tang Yu, and our comrades. When I was in Zhanding, I realized Mother didn't want to talk too much about that Yin Li Hua. I understand that my husband might have other concubines, 
But how could a concubine make my mother and uncle worry so much? I'm so confused. Even if she is from a noble family, our family is just as good. Tell me, what is she like? <gasps> Yinglo, please tell me about her. I'm so curious. My lady, I dare not tell you. If your mother ever finds out, I will be severely punished. Just tell me. I'll deal with my mother. Actually... The thing is, Yin Liwa is not a concubine. She is Lord Shao's first wife. They got married a little over a year ago. Lord Shao once said, Yin Liwa would be his wife if he marries anyone. First wife? And then, Liu Baoshan set the engagement with Lord Sending for you and Lord Shao. But then... My lady, Lord Shao is back, but he's in the study room. Leave us, please. Yes. My lady, I know Lord Shao is busy suppressing rebels. He passed by Handan a lot, but he never came home. And now that he's finally back, he should come to see you. But he went to the study room instead. It's obvious that he doesn't love you. I feel very sorry for you. Don't talk nonsense. He's busy with a war. I can't help him, but I should be considerate of what he's going through. My lady, I'm just worried because Lord Shao got the foothold in Hebei and Lord Zending didn't support him. Maybe he's trying to avoid you. I think you should tell your mother about all of this. She will back you up. I'm sure of it. You have to tell her. <sighs> Lord Shao is not like that. Yinglo, don't be a tattletale in front of my mother and uncle. Or you might make trouble. Go and prepare some soup. While... I'll bring it to my husband. He might be hungry. Yeah. 